There is no difference between military and compromised election leadership, Peter said. And now to the news info. Says INEC must explain to Nigerians what happened at a do election. INEC I I don't know why people are still trusting INECO. Lagos Chief Atedo Peter said, President of ANAP Foundation, has warned about the threat to Nigeria's democracy through compromised elections, stressing that there is no difference between military leadership and the one gotten through an election that is not credible. Peter said, who called out the electoral umpire for its role in the just concluded Edo state election, noted that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, must explain to Nigerians what happened at the election. What happened is rigging. What are they going to explain to you again? That is what I make. That is what they are known for. Rigging election. Putting their own person in power. That is what happened. He spoke yesterday night on Channel TV, pointing out that there is no difference between some civilians hijacking results sheets, altering them, pronouncing themselves winner, and I next saying, go to court with somebody using a gun and saying he is a soldier. He said, after I do election, I went on to INEC results, viewing portal IREV, when I heard all the complaints from people who were in the field in Edo State. I went on to IREV, hoping that when I look at the results sheets there, I would conclude that they were just making noise over nothing. But some of the results sheets that I saw there shocked me. In an election where the average turnout was 22% or thereabouts, one particular political party, and I'm sure we can all guess which one, was achieving a net 8.5% turnout of results in some polling votes. In some polling votes, the total number of votes that the same political party got was larger than the total number of voters that were accredited. Daylight Robbery Daylight Robbery sponsored by INEC INEC has just been compromised. They are, they, are, they, are, they are the major problems that we have in this country. While stressing that INEC should be held accountable, he said, I don't waste my time blaming political parties. They are not the referee. They are not the umpire. We must hold INEC culpable. INEC must explain to the nation, ever since the elections in Oshun, where INEC came out with credible resource sheets on IREV, I went there also. It is as if something has changed. Right from the presidential election, they went rogue. I hope that INEC will be held accountable. And I'm sorry for the decent staff in INEC because there is nothing worse than working in a place where half your colleagues have gone rogue and perhaps your bosses also, I'm telling you. How can you have an election where one particular political party scores more votes than the total number of those accredited? Can you imagine? Can you just imagine the kind of country we found ourselves where the people that voted is more than the number, is, they are not more than the numbers that you wrote down? I didn't find a single resource sheet where the beneficiary was either the People's Democratic Party or Labour Party or anybody else. So it is one political party that has the ability to generate more votes than the total number of voters accredited. Uh -uh. It is it is INEC Juju that is working. It is one political party that has the ability to achieve a 98.5% plus turnout when everywhere else the turnout is below 25%. Let us call a spade a spade. Something is seriously wrong. Speaking for that, Peter Sai says sometimes they claim there is a glitch and it's always when it looks as if the favoured party is not doing phenomenally well. They create a glitch. Even if they have loaded results up to a particular point, they suddenly stop as happened in Idaho State, disappeared for hours and then resurfaced with obviously altered results sheets that changes the whole equation. On the nation's democracy, he said, for me, democracy means let the person who is most popular win. If we cannot achieve that and allow the voters to decide, then we cannot have any other type of government. What is the difference between some civilians hijacking resort sheets, altering them, pronouncing themselves winners, and annexes go to court? What is actually the, dif the difference between somebody forcing his way into office with falsified resort sheets versus somebody using a gun and saying he's a soldier? For either side, they never got my consent, so I'm not calling for any particular action, but I'm just telling those doing this to be careful. It is well, Nigerians, it is really well with us because INEC is our problem, first and foremost, before the politicians, before the governors and everybody. INEC is the main issue that we have. It is 
maybe we should now take our protest to INEC because now they are saying INEC should 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 conduct an investigation. Meanwhile, it is their boss Yakubo that is making all this rigging. So it's possible. Our civil service is corrupt. Everywhere everybody is corrupted. Everybody doing the bidding of just this one party. I see it is only this one party that we have in the whole of Nigeria. Olani says, why can't you ask INEC chairman the same question in 2023 general election? Fred Ekele says, same thing in Kogi election and court didn't honor discrepancies in accreditation and voting. Imagine where that the number of people that voted is not equal to the number of numbers that you are seeing on the results sheet. It is obviously a lie and people can see it and yet nothing can be done about it. I don't understand. Siki Rarije says, sweeping allegations of wrong announced results by INEC, like the one made by the lack of Peter side, without any shred of evidence, shouldn't be allowed unchallenged by INEC. It is even worse than banditry. Discrediting our electoral process indiscriminately should not be treated with kids' glove. Babasi Kuri, be like, say, you know, Dado. Ajibate Emmanuel says, compromised election leadership is worse because they arrogantly lose the treasury to live in borrowed life. But the military is already known for their command structures, but the arrogancy will not be there. It will not be a one-man show, the government on their toes because of a possible coup. The government on their toes because of possible discipline actions. It is well. It is well because these people, I don't know where they have kept their conscience. I don't know why they are so mean, so wicked. I don't know what they are benefiting from these people that do not have anything, any good plans for the nation. And yet you are rigging election. You are not supposed to have sides. You are not supposed to take sides. As INEC, you are not supposed to take sides of any party at all. You're supposed to be like neutral. Any party that wins, fine. You don't have to now say, okay, because I love the best.